folks, welcome back to another daily unboxing with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're going to take a look at Big Dig. Diggy, diggy hole. And this is uh, designed by Scott Huntington and Sean Graham. It's put out by Tasty Mentral Games. <clears throat> so it looks like it's going to be, let's see here, two to four players, uh, 10 minutes long, and for ages eight and up. All right. So... Uh, it says, deep beneath the surface of the earth lie gems, artifacts, and other valuable things. As an intrepid treasure hunter, you'll no doubt be interested in fleeing them, uh, I'm sorry, freeing them from their rocky prison. Take turns drafting digging cards or exploding single spaces on your board as you plot your course down below. The player who does it most efficiently is the winner. So, if we go ahead and take a look at this here. And... Uh, Come on, open, open, open. Well, let's see here. This is a very small box and it's hard to open because it's hard for me to get a grip on it. But here we go. Wow, here's the rule book. All right, so story, setup. You looks like you have a dry erase markers, digging cards, uh, and then you have gold cards here. Uh, so, uh, players will take turns selecting a single digging card from the center of the table and marking off their pattern of squares on their board. All right, so these are how you mark off different patterns on your board. And then your board looks like it's going to have different uh, patterns on it to determine what gems you get and, and so forth and so on. So that's pretty interesting. You start up here at the top and work your way down. And then whoever gains the most points efficiently is the winner. You do have some of these cards here. And wow. Wow, there's just not... <sighs> there's not a whole lot to grab onto. These thing cards are so small. Um, so there we go. All right, so these are the di different digging cards, the different patterns. They're going to be out there, and then you're also going to have different kinds of uh, uh, goal cards that was had. So it almost looks like <coughs> kind of like a oh, almost a rolling, right? But without the rolling, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, maybe it's going to be like a a choose and write or something like that. So five digging cards, place these in the center of the table, random side facing up. Oh, okay, so these are <clears throat> double-sided. All right. So random side facing up, and then you have to choose from those uh, to choose your pattern. All right, so the... <clears throat> um. Game will end when I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, I am having trouble finding where it says um, the game will end. So um, I'm just missing it probably. There it is. If you have met all the requirements of all three face-up goal cards, the game ends and you have won the game. Otherwise, the turn is passed to the next player. Do not remove goal cards from the table when you complete them. Uh, they should remain out where everyone says, okay, so you have to, you have to, uh, you're going to have three of these out at the table, on the table, and once you have completed all three of them, that's when the game ends. So there you have it. All right. Uh, that is a Big Dig. Thanks for joining us. Certainly appreciate it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.